Hi, the LJN. Yesterday was a tragic day for Pakistan again. More than 74 people were killed and uh, more than 43 were injured when a gas stove exploded in a train traveling from Karachi to Lahore. Um, this incident occurred at Liaqatpur near Multan, a city in Punjab. We haven't seen any resignations from any minister or any official that was uh, responsible. We don't usually see this happening in Pakistan. We hear words of condemnation. We see officials talking about what should have happened and how it is the responsibility of the government or the officials before they came into power. This has been this game has been going on for the past 70 years or more. Railway accidents are quite uh, common and they're very devastating in Pakistan. And but nothing happens. Like lives are very very inexpensive in Pakistan. Nobody cares. Lip service is paid. Compensations are promised, not given. So the whole situation was that some people were going on a on a pilgrimage or they were going on a trip to Raiwan, which is a religious uh, place where people congregate annually. And so these people were traveling to that uh, location and apparently they had a gas stove and they were cooking something on board. The gas stove exploded. So the officials turned around and said, well, you know, these things are banned and they shouldn't be carried on board. But how did they get through? That's my question. If the railway, which gets loads of loads of money, and, but the, the trains are in the worst state and the rail tracks are in the worst conditions, where does all the money go? Why aren't customers provided with um, subsidy food on the, the trains? If they were given facilities, people wouldn't be smuggling uh, such gas stoves and other appliances on on board because they have to eat. And if you're not providing them any food which they can afford inside the, the train, what do you expect them to do? So anyway, it is horrific to see such accidents occur. But worst is the indifference of our people responsible for this. Nobody, nobody, head should roll after 74 people are dead because somebody didn't do their job right or somebody didn't put down proper rules that need to be enforced. I mean, it's a whole chain of people and it's not just this officially, the, the officials that are present right now, it's like, the chain of people or the, the, the line of people who've been in this in this um, position or in this profession, nobody ever did anything. I mean, we keep hearing the railway tracks are very old and they need to be replaced. There's no money, there's no this, there's no that. Now this person, the minister has just come in, he promised a lot and he's usually always, he has, he's big on promises like every other um, leader that comes in. Your promises are not going to bring those people back. Your future promises are not going to bring anybody back. Your actions will protect people in the future. Do you have a conscience? Do you even care that people are dying? Do you even realize how many people have lost their loved ones? Do you even understand what they're going to face in the future? They, maybe they're bright, the person who earns, their, earns for the family is dead. Maybe a child is dead. Maybe a mother is dead. I mean, anybody, loved ones are dead. What's, what What is the government going to do? Compensations are promised, which are not given, which should be given. That's not the, the, that's not the solution. Your, your duty is to protect your citizens. That's our fundamental right. Your, you are responsible for these deaths. You should have the integrity to step down not just the railway minister. Every time something goes wrong, somebody should be held responsible and steps taken to actually remedy that situation because of which the incident occurred. We just cannot have people coming up and saying, oh, you know, we 
mourn for the dead and me this that and the other families don't give up they've lost somebody important from their lives your words are not going to bring anything back and nothing's going to change their lives their futures are bleak probably well they are because if you lost somebody that you love anyway so what are you doing about it what is our happiness index do we even come in within that that uh, parameter I, i i don't want promises i want you to do something for, for us we deserve it we've done a we we've, we've gone through hell and back what do you guys know about that you live in luxurious places you get money enough to last you for the lifetime you get protocol you get respect from people do you really think you deserve all that do you really think you've done enough to deserve all that you should look into your conscience and see what's happening and what you've done because we deserve better our people deserve better you don't already they don't even even have the basic things that like water but they don't have houses they don't have medicine you know, what kind of country are you trying to make what kind of country have you made this and where are you taking us we don't have any hope to from from your words i mean at least give us something to be able to bear the fact that you guys are there give me a reason to at least say okay they've done something for us because pakistanis keep dying and nobody get cares you use our name when you need it you shed tears when you need to internationally you you have pocket projects that don't affect the majority which usually don't even come into reality and it's sad i we know you can do it it's not that hard but do it then you know don't wait for anybody else to come i keep saying that which is weird because i know nobody's going to come and help us we'll have to do it ourselves and that, that's why we voted for you we got you elected we get people elected or you're there for us i mean if you call yourself representatives of the public do something for us just don't use our name just just to get your votes or to to have political arguments with your rivals and for your mud slinging and stuff we actually need you to do something for us so we're hoping somebody out there will take the responsibility for these deaths in liaquatpur somebody will help actually help their families get back uh to their routine eventually somebody will give them enough funds to to carry on and survive let's hope so